You guys forgive me, the sound is all off on this, but YouTube was having a ton of glitches and this is really the only way that I could figure out how to upload it. So here you go. What's up YouTube family? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie and today I'm going to show you everything that I ate in the last week. Everything is keto and low carb with the exception of one meal. And to start, we're going to show you weigh-in results from last week. What's up you guys? We are here to give you our results for the last week. So I'm going to let you go first. Oh, um, I lost, how many pounds did I lose last It's week, week? 17 also, yeah. this is 17th week. We're so. just doing it since, running since November. Yeah. So, to date, I have lost 21.8 pounds. Which is how much percentage? 7.76. I'm so proud of you. I'm excited. And I have lost 37.6. I'm at 372.4 now. Killing it. And which is 9.17%, and you guys know my next, my first big goal is 10%, so and I've got close. four more pounds, three and a half more pounds to go. Yay! So I'm excited. And then it's pedicure day. That's pedicure day with Kristen, so I'm excited. So, um, here are my meals from the last week. Happy Sunday morning. I just cooked some bacon and a couple of runny eggs, and I broke one of them, transferring it to the plate. And then I put some... Uh, green onions that I just fried up in the last of the butter that I cooked the eggs in, and then a cheese stick. Well, we have spent the day getting the fridge ready for Chris. Back here, we've got some, they sell them at the store called protein packs, but we made our own with a hard boiled egg, some salami, and a cheese stick. We've got several of those for his breakfast. We got Powerade, water, um, these are like Diet Sprites, Diet Dr. Pepper, and here I've got boiled egg, going from the back, I've got salami, some sausage balls, boiled eggs, um, beef jerky, pepperoni, I've got sugar-free jello and sugar-free pudding, I've got guacamole, cheese sticks, mixed nuts, and almonds in the back there, and then in his snack cupboard, we've got... Um, sweet treats if he needs an elevation bar, some beef snack sticks, and pork rinds. We are ready to go. And I'm also making some cheese crisps. Dinner tonight is some uh, roasted broccoli with cheese and bacon, and chicken and garlic smoked sausage with two replica Cheddar Bay biscuits. Breakfast this morning is just some keto sausage balls that we made yesterday, and I grabbed a pepper jack cheese stick and a Diet Dr. K. Monday lunch, we're trying a new place, so I got some chicken cheese with some chorizo on top and a salad, and Amy got a naked burrito, so it's basically a burrito with no tortilla and rice and beans on the side for Charlotte, and Chris got some wings, because it's his first day of keto, and he didn't know what else to get. <laughs> He's so excited. <laughs> she saw herself. What's up you guys? So it is Monday afternoon. I'm just getting off work. I just wanted to hop on here and talk about how this week is going to go. Um, Chris started keto today. So I think he's really, um, he's really dedicated. So that's good. Our house is stocked. We've got enough Powerade and Diet Sprite and nuts and pepperoni and salami and cheese sticks and pork rinds to feed an army. It's ridiculous. So, um, and we've got a lot of Powerade that will hopefully help him if he has any sort of keto flu, but I expect him to feel kind of like, eh, this today and the next few days. I, I keep telling him, man, that sun came out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> I keep telling him if he can just get past the first week, like, Oh my god, he's going to feel so much better. And once he starts to feel better, he'll want to stick with it for the month that he signed up for. <laughs> but Amy shared something in our group of girls that I took a screenshot of and shared with him because I thought that it would really help him because she was talking about um, wanting to get healthy for Charlotte. And uh, about two months ago, the turning point for her kind of being when she when her friend passed away I don't know it wasn't a couple months ago it was like a month ago when her friend passed away and she realized she put it really really well in words she said I don't want to lose myself to food it's just food and so I sent it to him 
kind of hoping that that would help him today because he's so focused on what he can't have, like his, his toaster strudel free diet now, that you're not concentrating on all the things that you can have, you know, like the stuff that you can have tastes delicious. You're just more limited as far as what you can eat. So I'm just trying to help him out, you know, stay focused on what you can eat and just realize that it's just food. It, like don't make yourself a slave to food. So I think that's what we kind of all need to <laughs> to realize and um, just remember a lot of the time. I may put it, it like it in my car somewhere, like it's just food. Monday night dinner, I kind of went all out and it's delicious. I figured for Chris's first keto dinner, full keto dinner, I had to go all out. <laughs> I did some chicken drumsticks with a dry rub and then two jalapeno poppers each with some cauliflower rice and mushrooms, green onions, parmesan, and heavy cream. How are you feeling on your first day? Hard to tell. It's the first day. It's the first day. Yeah, he doesn't feel any different. But, you know, to be expected. Leftover chicken from last night with leftover cauliflower rice from last night and some almonds. This is lunch today. Alright guys, so I just left the gas station. I was getting Chris some of those Venom energy drinks because he's feeling that keto flu right now. Um, but I got some of these, the Cracklin ones. Um, because I don't usually like pork rinds, but I thought maybe these were a different texture. I about broke my dang teeth on these. How do you <laughs> eat these? If you eat these, are they supposed to be that hard? Or is this just a bad batch? Let me know in the comments. But I did find Sweet Heat Barbecue Curly Cues, which are like little tiny, you can see they're like little tiny pork rinds. They're bite-sized, they're one carb per serving, so they're not zero, but one's still not bad. And they're delicious! I'm so excited I finally found pork rinds that I like. Alright, dinner tonight is Costco steaks. They look delicious. Um, two biscuits, and then a salad with some hard-boiled egg, cheese, bacon bits, hot sauce, and ranch. Chick-fil-A this morning, just a sausage hash brown scramble with no hash browns and a Diet Coke. Hey, what's up you guys? It is Wednesday and it's lunchtime. I'm headed to O'Charlie's to meet Amy and Charlotte. Just wanted to show you something. If you don't live in Georgia, be glad that you don't live in Georgia because this is my windshield. So gross. This is why they call me Allergy Alley. <laughs> Because <laughs> I can't stop sneezing when there's so much pollen around. Crazy. Also, if you're thinking that this is from a few days of pollen buildup, you would be wrong. Because my car was outside the carport yesterday and it poured down rain until about 3 a.m. So this is like nine hours of pollen buildup. Uh, it's like crazy. Everything's yellow. Charlie's with Amy and Charlotte. She's eating some pickles. Oh, you can't see her. Charlotte. Pickles and cheese. You like your pickles? <laughs> they brought her out pickles and cheese instead of rolls because we don't do rolls. But we got a salad and we both got chopstick. I'll show you that in a second. Also, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I always do hot sauce with ranch on my salads at home. So I just asked for a side of buffalo and now Amy's on board. What do you think? Pretty good. Yeah. No. So Charlie's just trying to sabotage me. I found a chocolate chip in my that salad. In her salad. Chopped steak with onions and mushrooms. No fried onions. I gave them to Charlotte. <laughs> and gravy on the side. We don't eat it. And Amy got the same because it's delicious. She's blowing your pizza. She's blowing it because it's hot. So cute. Are you going to blow it? <laughs> She is. 
So I just ran into the racetrack because I was having a craving. I haven't had one of these in forever. Diet Sunkissed. Me and Amy were talking about it the other day and I just wanted one. And I also got a Colby Jack cheese stick while I was in there because I wanted a snack. Wednesday night dinner is some chicken fajitas. It's just rotisserie chicken, green and red bell peppers, mushrooms and onions with some homemade taco seasoning. And then I topped it with queso and mixed it all together in the pan. And salad, typical cheese, egg, pepitas, and bacon, and hot sauce and ranch. We are having an after dinner snack. I have a caramel double chocolate crunch and he has a caramel nut and Vito ain't getting either one of them. <laughs> Just having some pre-breakfast coffee with some heavy whipping cream and Splenda. Breakfast this morning is a few sausage balls that I grabbed from home and some hard boiled eggs and a Gouda cheese stick. Lunch is some leftover chicken fajitas with queso mixed in, and because it's spicy, I brought some sour cream on the side. So now that I found a pork rind that I actually like, Sweet Heat Barbecue Curly Cues, I am having them with some... Uh, just a guacamole cup. I think it's Aldi brand. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that it's Aldi brand. And it is so good. You want some? You want pork rind? Amy got the chicken and chorizo with salad. So did Chris. He's doing so good and I'm proud of him. Thank you. And I got a taco salad with no shell. It's basically just okay. Okay. guys. It is so Do you see what I mean? All kinds of glitches. <laughs> I will link part two down below if this one will upload. <laughs>